Hi guys, Julie here. Welcome back to my channel and another speed build video, of course. Um, if you watched my last video, um, if you remember, it started off um, as a runaway teen or teenage runaway, whatever I had it called, uh, home. And then in the video I said like the build itself took a different turn. It wasn't what I was going for, so I just turned it into something else. So this is more what I had in mind for my teenage runaways. And so this, yeah, this, this is, this is the build. <laughs> so, um, basically my idea for this was, you know, they're just a young couple. I'm thinking like, I don't know, between the ages of like 16 and 18, they're good kids, but they got in a little bit of trouble maybe from, I don't know, partying or just not listening, staying out, dropping out of school. I don't, I don't know the in-depthness. This is just an idea in my head, but, um, each kid's parents assume it's the other kid's like fault. You know what I mean? Like they're just bad influences on each other. So the kids, the parents don't want these kids together. Um, so basically they, they, they took off. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be together. No one's going to stop them. And they just took off. They, um, they come from, you know, I don't know, whatever middle class homes, I assumed high, whatever, upper class, middle class. So as kids, you know, maybe they kind of had money in the bank. So they were able to rent this god awful <laughs> trailer um you know even with savings even with a little bit of money in the bank you know you really can't afford much and i can attest for that i moved out at a very young age um not because i was a bad kid or anything or because i was kicked out i it was a choice i made um and uh it was we had oh, we had a tiny tiny little place and it was not the nicest but anyways um so yeah as far as i'm concerned this is what they're renting this is what they could afford you know um maybe one of them's working the other one isn't i don't know if you want to download this i mean you can you know make the story whatever you want your little heart to make it um so i thought I want it to be run down. I want it to be gross. The kids themselves aren't gross or ugly or anything along those lines. Um, but, you know, I, I gave them the traits of, like, if one of them is kind of lazy, the other one's kind of a slob, because I'm like, they're kids. They've never had to really clean for themselves. They've never had to worry about any of that stuff, cook for themselves, anything. Um, so this is as exciting as it is for them, like, oh my God, like, check us out. We have our own place. It's also, you know, it's not the nicest and they're not the greatest at upkeeping it either. Um, so I wanted it to be a, a, a trailer that maybe they were having a hard time renting to anyone. And then these two kids came along and they're like, yes, <laughs> they'll take it. <laughs> so it's very overgrown. Um, the landscaping I do at the end as per usual, I think I I think I pretty much always do the landscaping at the end. Um, and I cut out a lot of footage of that as per usual. Also, I do that a lot. Um, but it's a lot of the stuff from the new live edit BB dot show live edit objects menu. Um, so everything, like I put a lot of grass and like, it's like each blade of grass pretty much is an individual piece. So it took forever, but the inside I've never done anything like this and it was so much fun to just use the ugliest stuff and stuff that I like pretty much never use I mean even even the these counters and cupboards um, these are the used ones that came out with city living and so I've never used those even the not used ones I rarely use those either because the swatches for them just aren't the greatest but this kitchen, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's so ugly and it's, it's, oh God, but I love it. I just, I'm like, yeah, this, this, this makes sense to me. Um, our, my first place that I, that I rented, um, when I was 17, it wasn't as, it was nowhere near as run down as this, but it definitely wasn't the nicest at all. Um, you know, the exterminator did have to get called, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, this bathroom, I started doing it. I was going with like all black cause I did the shower curtain and I'm like, oh, a couple of teenagers, of course they're going to buy like a black shower curtain. And then I'm like, no, they probably didn't buy a shower curtain. They're going to take whatever was there. So I changed it all to more like neutral colors. Cause to me that just looks 
older. Um, and the counters, obviously it's the same ones from the kitchen that came with city living, but a different, a different swatch. And this build is in Strangerville and it's, um, what I think it's called slip 42. It's in the trailer park, which I mean, you, you can see, um, <laughs> just from the surroundings. Um, it's, uh, I'm just like, I'm just looking at it and I'm just remembering how much fun I had building it. And like, it was just to make it as, as run down as I possibly could. I mean, it's a little, it's a bit of a shame. Like we've got the used objects from city living, but we don't have a lot of objects that actually look run down, you know, like this bed is a used one, but the, the comforters and everything, like it's the, it still looks great. It's just less expensive, but as far as I'm concerned, it still looks great. I think the only thing that makes it look used is the fact that maybe in the headboard, I think there's a couple of like, what are they called? Like notches or something in it. Um, so here I was trying to fit in a table and some chairs and this place was so small. I could not fit that in. So basically rain or shine or whatever, they're going to have to eat outside or eat on the couch. Now here you can see there's not a lot of room between the couch and the bed and the clutter on the floor of the like the messy clothes actually was in the way like I thought it was something they could just like walk over but I do you'll see like a weird um cut at some point here coming up because I did do some uh uh play testing just before I went too far to make sure things fit and worked and those clothes on the floor were in the way because I guess everything is so cramped and for whatever reason they can't just like walk over them which I think is really silly so I did bump out, not bump it out, well, I stretched it out, I guess you could say, by just one tile. So the couch and the TV, everything stays where it is. The bedroom just moves out by like one length of tile or whatever. You'll see because suddenly it just looks bigger and you can tell. Um, that way the clothes were no longer a problem. And I put a bookshelf over in the bedroom area as well. And after the weird cut, you'll see that the bookshelf is then moved by the bathroom door because they couldn't get around that either. Um, what? Yeah, and <laughs> I use that dresser, I guess you could call it, so much, the one that looks like stairs, um, because it's the smallest dresser. It's not the cheapest, but it's the smallest dresser there is. And I was like going about my business, doing all this and stuff, and I'm like, oh, they don't have a dresser for their clothes. And normally I'd be like, oh, whatever, they'll use the mirror. But still for like, a, I don't know, aesthetic purposes, there should be, you know, something there for them to use to change their clothes. Because realistically, you would. So um, I don't remember if I jumped back inside or if that was it for the indoors. But I, I'm so in love with this build. And I think I might actually like... If I play them, because I don't know if I'm actually going to play these characters or not, um, I, I just haven't decided yet. If I do, I think I'll probably renovate this and maybe post another video, like a, maybe an update or something once it's renovated. Um, and then this, I got the idea from like a couple of trailers right around. I'm like, oh, they have like, you know, I think what's probably supposed to be, um, oh, what is it called? That fake grass. Ah, oh, it's like on the tip of my tongue and I just can't. I just can't say the word. Um, oh my gosh, that's going to drive me crazy. Anyways, the fake grass. Uh, so I thought, oh, I'll try that here. I eventually get rid of it because I thought it was way too much of a stark contrast to the rest of the build. Everything is like overgrown, but it's kind of like uh, light colored grass and stuff. Nothing so deep green like that. Um, so I end up just putting the same uh, terrain as that little driveway that I made. So this is the grass. So I go nuts and I start putting it and putting it and then I had to stop filming for a while. I was gonna do the whole lot in this, but if I would've tried to do that, oh, I would've gone crazy. So I do like a good section of it towards the back. You can see here where I was already working. And then I find other stuff in that new menu and I just kind of, basically I figure if it's overgrown and this is kind of the desert, there's all kinds of stuff that grows. So I just really kind of mixed it up and put a lot of different things in. And uh, I do put more of that grass stuff everywhere, just not as densely. And then here I'm just using random items. I don't know what they are, but I was like, well, it's a trailer. There's no, I don't know. I've never, I haven't been in a trailer since I was like camping as a teenager. And my friend's mom owned a little trailer at a park. Um, so 
I was a teenager. That's a lot of years ago. Um, so I just, I don't remember, but I'm like, okay, well, they have to have something at the back to give them power and give them other stuff. But anyways, if you like this build, uh, all the information will be in the stuff down below. And you can also just search the hashtag Julie and the Sims in the gallery. And all of my builds should pop up or some of them anyways. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and thank you. Bye.